All right, having some draft withdrawals. So I went back and, I, and I'm and i watching some Giants film from 2020. And I really think this play shows who Patrick Graham is and why, how he made this defense good in 2020, along with good players. But, you know, right now we've got, you know, Nate Ebner and Ryan Lewis both playing on, on defense in the fourth quarter. So how does he do it on this play? He takes a basic coverage. We're going to let me let, play a basic cover three. A basic cover three. And gets a free rusher on it. And has guys replacing it. Confuses Wentz. What he's looking at. Gets a tip pass. So how do we get to there? How do we get to there? So let's, let's look at the lineup we got. We've got wide receiver, wide receiver, tight end, wide receiver. So two by two. But even though you have the slot receiver down here, you've got all the DBs rolled onto this side. we got Bradbury corner. You got Logan Ryan, who's you know that you know that star player, that corner slash safety, playing down, and then you got Peppers as the safety rolling down to this side with Love playing in the middle. So now you only have one DB. You know I count Ebner as a linebacker DB playing on this side with two wide receivers. So Wentz knows something's up. He knows this isn't going to be your basic play. So what do the Giants do on this? It's a basic cover three. I mean, let's stop the play. Cover three, cover three, cover three. Then you got your bubble underneath of flats, flats, curl hooks. Basic cover three, but you have a free rusher. Well, how does that happen? Simple. You're just taking basic principles, having people do different things, and playing the same way. So Ryan is going to blitz, and Wentz his first read is this side because he knows something's happening with this side. It's not, you know, you're not rolling all these DBs to a side with one wide receiver and a tight end without having something in mind. Now, Logan Ryan blitzes. He's the free rusher. Fackrell pops out. He's playing the flats. He These two are playing curl hooks. And then Peppers replaces where Logan Ryan would play in the flats. And then you have your cover three safeties. You know, your, your safety corner corner playing the, th the thirds of the field. So they get a free rusher. The tight end, Rodgers, is running a block and release. So his eyes are on golden. He's just, I want to get a chip on him and then get out into the flats. So with that, he's got his eyes down here when these stunt. Ryan, uh, Leonard Williams stunts into the tackle. Marcus Golden loops around, which means this running back has to stay here to help Golden. So now we have a free rusher with seven blockers right now. You got one. You got the five offensive linemen. You got your running back and your tight end with the free rusher, which means you have seven guys in coverage on three players. And then, and essentially you have Fackrell playing the flats right here. That's a kind of an easy cover. You have Six players covering two players. And it looks just like it. You got bam, bam, bam. This is shut down. So Wentz knows he's got... Wentz, unless he was to throw and, you know, dump it off right here. Wentz knows he's got to get back to the right. Ryan's got... Or Lewis has this outside leverage. Love's coming down here to shut down the post. And Ebner plays with good depth. And gets his hand on that ball. Gets his hand on that ball. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bracketing these guys. And this is just a basic cover three. But because you have guys changing responsibilities but still doing the same things, you have a free rusher. You have a free rusher getting your QB smacked and making him have to make a decision quicker. If he doesn't have this free rusher, he can wait a half a second and put this ball out here instead of right here. He's rushed. It's not the most accurate pass. DB gets a hand on it. And you got yourself a, st a stop. You've got yourself a stop by running a basic coverage in a different way. And this is what Patrick Graham did all year. He took basic coverages and just had players take different responsibilities. And it confused the crap out of offenses all year. I mean, I could pull these plays from every single game. Game winning plays versus Washington. You know, the Bradbury interception. The Logan Ryan interception, just taking basic coverages, changing responsibilities, and it confuses the crap out of offenses. So, good stuff from Patrick Graham. I just wanted to revisit this.